Thierry is a 56-year-old resident of Brussels who enjoys outdoor activities, photography, cinema and museums. Though he was born with intellectual disabilities and suffers from epilepsy, he is an active member of society and has been working in public administration for the last 20 years. Yet, he says people with his condition still suffer from discrimination and a lack of access to transport, education and culture. Ça commence à bouger, mais ça devrait encore plus bouger. Par exemple, pour l'accès à la culture, pour aller dans des musées, pour aller dans des cinémas, euh, voir des expositions, euh, donc euh, ça devrait plus bouger, que on soit mieux accueilli. An estimated 87 million people in the EU live with some form of disability. Though their situation may vary from one country to another, they are generally more exposed to social exclusion, poverty, illness and unemployment. The European Commission this week unveiled a 10-year strategy for people with disabilities, which seeks to reinforce their inclusion in society as well as their access to justice, jobs, elections and the rights guaranteed to all European citizens. The European Commission will propose a European disability card recognized by all member states, which will make it easier for people with disabilities to make use of their right to move freely. The EU plan builds upon a previous decade-long initiative. For the European Disability Forum, however, progress will remain slow in the absence of clear data to monitor the efforts made by member states. S'il n'y a pas ces indicateurs, Euh, ces données chiffrées, cette, cette demande de, de données chiffrées, ce monitoring, nous n'aurons pas assez pour avancer. Ce qui ne veut pas dire que les États n'avancent pas, mais en tous les cas, certainement moins vite et avec moins de résultats que ce que nous n'en attendons. In Brussels, the NGO that organizes social activities for members like Thierry says it is vital to speed up the implementation of inclusion policies as the pandemic took a heavy toll on people with disabilities. Ils se retrouvent dans une véritable, un véritable isolement, dans une solitude, euh, étant donné qu'ils n'ont pas accès à tous les moyens euh, que, que les personnes valides utilisent pour, pour avoir des échanges, c'est-à-dire visioconférences, téléphones et ce genre de choses. As a consequence, some of the people with disabilities suffer from alcoholism, depression and suicidal tendencies, which makes the need for better inclusion all the more urgent. Brian Carter for Euronews.